You may have noticed that last time we only talked about addition and multiplication. Well, this time we're going to talk about the properties of opposites. And these don't get as any names. These are just the way they are. And so it's important to keep in mind that the opposite of addition is subtraction. And the opposite, opposite of multiplication is division. And so we're just going to get right into the properties. So if I take a minus 1 and I times that by a number a, then that gives me minus a. If I take a minus times a minus a, the two negatives become positive. Now if I have a negative a times b, that's the same thing as a times negative b, which is the same thing as a negative a times b. Now related to this one up here, but if I have two different ones, minus a times minus b, this will be equal to a times b. And we have distributive properties as well. If we have minus times a plus b in parentheses, then they both become negative. But if one already is negative, then when I distribute, it becomes positive. And this one in particular right here, I see get missed a lot by students. A lot of students just tend to move the negative into the first one and get minus a minus b, which is wrong. So make sure that the negative goes to both. Now, we also have a couple of other cases. What if I have minus a over b? Well, that's the same thing as a over minus b, which is the same thing as putting a negative in front and dividing a by b. This one and this one are our preferred forms. We will usually turn a negative on the bottom into one of these. And the last thing we're going to look at is a modified version of the distributive property. If I have to a times the quantity b minus c, this is ab minus ac. So these are the properties of opposites. They get used a lot, and this is one of the places that I see students lose the most points on tests, so be very careful about your opposites.